Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a great day today. If you know it, say it with me. I got my coffee. I got my Bible. Of course, I have all of you. And happy Halloween. So that is such a controversial topic in the church world. So I am going to do a short video just to tell you how much I love you, read you a verse, and then we're going to have a great day. Uh, if you are just now joining us, welcome to 1 Corinthians chapter 16. And what we're doing every day is we're going through God's Word. And even on a day like today, I wasn't going to miss an opportunity to connect with all of you. And we're just pulling out hope for everyday life. And I just want to read you a verse. I want to give you some encouragement. And then I am going to go enjoy this evening with my family. But I wanted to see all of my social media family first. 1 Corinthians chapter 16. I'm going to tell you what it says. And then we're going to talk. The Bible says this. It says, Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong and do everything with love. Now, let's be real. Let's be honest. Let's have a good time. Do everything with love. There are, in the Christian world, basically three camps when it comes to Halloween. You've got one that says it is the worst thing ever. It glorifies the devil. No, 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 no. you got number two that says yes. There are bad things that happen at this holiday, but we can redeem the holiday by making it a family-centered holiday where we focus on good things. And you got the third that says, what, there's a problem with this? <laughs> you know, I didn't know. So you really have three. I will tell you, I grew up in the first one. I grew up in the one that said that Halloween was horrible, so we didn't need to do anything. And then we tried to do something called hallelujah parties where we were kind of doing the second one. <laughs> you know, where we were celebrating it without celebrating it. And then I met people who never heard there was a problem. So where should you stand on all of this, okay? I wanna help you because for some of you, I, and I know that the social, the, the social distancing thing is a little bit um, out there. And so some people are doing trick-or-treating, some people are not. Some people are having candy on their, their doorstep, some are not. I don't know how that's gonna hit you. Uh, if you decide to stay home, praise the Lord. If you decide to go do things, um, let me give you this verse one more time. And then let me tell you my opinion, okay, on what's going on. The Bible says again, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, and do everything with love. Here's number one thing. Pray about what you're doing. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit if he is convicting you. He says, be on your guard, stand firm in your faith. And so if you feel convicted to, to not celebrate Halloween, then the verse says, be courageous and be strong. Be strong in what you feel convicted to do. Now, here's the second thing. If you think that it's not a problem, if you think that it's just an opportunity for you to take something that, yes, may have some bad origins, you're going to take it and you're going to make it holy, you're going to do something good with it, then stand firm in your faith, be courageous, and be strong. But here's what you need to do. Either way, the last part of the verse says, do everything with love. Did you know you can do a bad thing? Or excuse me, you can do a good thing and it turn out bad. You know how? Because of the spirit in which you do it. You can be passionate about not having Halloween because you have very good reasons not to do it. But if you do it with the bad spirit, all you're going to do is make everything bad. You can have a good attitude. Your Halloween, we're going to we're going to redeem it. It's going to be good, but you have a bad attitude and you ruin it for everybody. So, here's the thing. You pray and you ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, give me a peace and a calm on what I should do. And then when you make that decision, do it with love. If you're going to stay home, do it with love. If you're going to go out, do it with love. Everything you do, do it with love. Because we weren't called to to hurt one another. We were called to love one another. Sometimes love is telling the truth. This is how I feel. I am not going to do this, or I am going to do this. But I am not mad at you for doing something different. I love you anyway. And I think if we maybe love each other a little bit more, maybe we wouldn't fight so much. And then maybe the world would see that what we've got is worth getting. Because we love even when we disagree. I'm not willing to separate fellowship from someone who doesn't believe the same thing I do when it comes to a holiday. Because when we get to heaven, I don't think we're going to care too much as long as we do it with love. Just my opinion. It could be wrong. But anyway, either way, I hope you have a great evening. I love you so much. Let me tell you something I do know, and that is that God loves you more than you realize. He's for you more than you can imagine. You're probably doing better than you realize. You know why? Because you got up one more day. And God has not changed his mind about you. Nobody's told you yet today. I love you so much. hope you have a great evening. I will see you here tomorrow with possible candy hangover on daily.